How to prevent a water heater explosion. It's uh, taught in every school that I've been into. We teach it here at the company. And a lot of times you'll see any kind of water heater. Every water heater is a vessel with fuel underneath it, whether it be gas or electric. This little valve on the side is called a temperature and pressure relief valve. It's on every piece of equipment that has a flame or electricity on it. People make the mistake of sometimes capping these valves because it was leaking. When it leaks, it's telling you something. It's telling you that there's too much heat inside the tank or too much pressure, both of which can be deadly. This little guy is responsible for taking the pressure and relieving the temperature that's too high. When people plug these off, it's just a matter of time before there's an explosion. And I've seen demonstrations where people have plugged these off and put the fuel on, and a water heater was launched from the basement through the first floor, second floor, and the attic, successfully, basically ruining, structurally ruining the entire house, just because somebody put a plug on one of these. And I purposefully don't have anything on this because I wanted to show you exactly where this piece of pipe is. A lot of times you're gonna see a piece of copper that travels from here down to the floor, about a foot off the floor, and it's there for a reason. In case this pops off, it should just take the discharge and throw it down on the floor so that no one gets burned.